You're tired of this yellow, brushy grass in your field, but you don't know exactly what it is. Some people call it sage grass, some people call it broom sage. All you know is you're tired of looking at it, it makes the pasture look bad. You want to know how to get rid of broom sage. First, you need to understand why you have it. So broom sage is interesting because it's kind of the soil and the field's way of letting you know that something's off, that it's needing help somewhere. And that somewhere is with soil pH. As soil pH gets low, it creates an environment of acidity in the soil in which broom sage thrives. And so that allows that broom sage to come in. The issue with that is not only the existence of the broom sage, but more acidic soils mean more nutrient deprivation for the grass that you do on growing, such as your Bermuda, your Timothy, your orchard, your Bahia grass, so on and so forth. That is limiting your yield, limiting your output, while also allowing this invasive species to come in. The issue then becomes you can't hit it with a herbicide. Selective herbicides are designed to kill grasses, and that's gonna kill the other grass you have as well if you were to broadcast it across everything. So what we want to do, and the more effective route is to raise that soil pH and to get that ground fixed, that'll make for a lot better growing conditions for your hay or your pasture that you want growing. It'll make for a lot cleaner pasture and it'll wipe that broom sage out and choke it out. So you're really fixing a problem in your production while also eliminating a nuisance. Now, historically, we use limestone to do this and that gets your soil pH up, gets everything corrected, takes about 12 months or so to get everything done. The beauty is nowadays we have pro uh, products that allow that to happen a lot quicker a lot easier and a lot more effectively. So our product is called ProCal. That's probably what you're looking into now. And that product does the exact same thing as your limestone does. It raises that pH, it holds it for an extended period of time. So usually you'll apply that. It'll go to work pretty much right away. You wanna put it on early in the year if you can to target that broom sage earlier rather than later when it's really established so that we can choke it out. And then that'll last for about three to four years before you need to reapply. So that gives you a nice long period of time, keeping that ground clean, getting that broom sage out, but also increasing the production of that ground and the health of that soil. So one of the main questions obviously is, how do I get it? The nice thing is Agritech does free delivery anywhere in state. Normally it takes about three to five business days to get it out to you. We'll deliver it straight to the farm and there's no extra cost on top of the product to get that out to the farm for you. How much do I use? Typically, broom sage starts coming in when soil gets into the mid to low fives. Normally, we want our pH to be about a six five or higher to make sure that we don't have broom sage and we have optimal growth. A normal application rate then would be a two ton rate of dry lime. The equivalent with ProCal would be using about four gallons to the acre of ProCal. Now that comes as a concentrate. So you'll mix that with water in your sprayer and run about 15 to 20 gallons total per acre. And so what you'll end up with is a mix of 11 gallons of water and four gallons of product going through the sprayer for a total of 15 gallons. Now, the big question, how much does it cost? The great thing about ProCal is it eliminates a lot of the costs associated with lime. So with your normal dry lime, you're paying for the limestone from the quarry, then you're paying to truck it. Then most of the time, most people don't have a spreader. So you're paying somebody out to come out and spread it or you're paying to rent a spreader. And that drives the price up really quickly. ProCal eliminates a lot of that. And so it makes it a lot cheaper than your normal dry lime. We sell the ProCal in multiple sizes. It comes in 55 gallon drums, 275 gallon totes, and then we go up to bulk from there. Bulk being anywhere from 2,000 to 4,000 gallons on the truck load. So at the normal application rate to get rid of broom sage, a drum would treat about 13 acres and a tote would treat about 69 acres. So that kind of gives you a rough idea as far as figuring out how much you would need. And then as far as the price goes, we do bulk price. So on a 55 gallon drum, the delivered price on a drum is $865. And a 275 gallon tote, the delivered price is $3,100. And then when you go up to bulk, you get the most savings and the price does vary there some. So if you're looking at bulk, definitely reach out to your local agronomist here at Agritech or local rep here, and they'd be happy to help you with answering that question. With that being said, if you're wanting to get this done, if you're wanting to take the initiative, give us a call today so that we can have a conversation with you to get it scheduled, to get out there. We'll schedule follow-up soil tests and a full process to make sure that you know exactly how to mix it, exactly how to spray it, when it's getting there, when you're gonna see those results in that field turning much, much cleaner, much greener, and producing a lot better.